Hello and welcome to Optics Trades YouTube channel. Today we have binoculars made by DD Optics here. I do uh, apologize in advance if I will mispronounce the name. These are the DD Optics Pöschler 8x56 Gen 3 binoculars. DD Optics was founded in 2004. Their HQ is in Germany where the development takes place. The manufacturing is done mostly in Japan. There has been a lot of hype around the Pöschle 8x56 binoculars since their release in 2019. I'm talking here about the third generation. And after testing these properly and comparing them against other low light binoculars, I can see why. These fall into the low light binoculars category um, because of the configuration that is. 8x56 and 7x50 are the top picks when it comes to low light observation with binoculars. Uh, low light observation is mostly done by hunters. The target audience for these binoculars are almost exclusively hunters. The big objective lens uh, gathers a large amount of light and in these binoculars it is combined with an 8x magnification resulting in a 7mm exit pupil. And as the human eye can dilate can dilate up to seven or eight millimeters in perfect conditions. It results in a bright image. Even though low light binoculars are comfortable to use, they're heavy and bulky, which is why other binoculars users such as bird watchers and hikers normally go for full size or compact binoculars, both of the smaller type. And low light binos are only advantages once it gets dusky and bird watchers, hikers and other nature enthusiasts typically observe during the day. So once again, the target audience for the Perschler 8x56 Gen 3 are hunters. Okay, let's talk about the binoculars uh, in general, starting with the physical appearance. You can see these are quite big. Naturally, they're from the low light category. They're 19 centimeters long. They're 16 centimeters wide here when fully extended. And I would say these are the standard dimensions for this type of binoculars. They weigh 1,200 grams, uh, which is a lot, but quite normal for low light binos. They're even lighter than most of the competition. This can be partly attributed to the open bridge configuration that you see here. So we have two components. So this is called the open bridge configuration. Uh, which also contributes to easier handling and allows a comfortable single hand use. If you use them single handedly, your hand will get tired after a while naturally because these are um, low light, so heavy type of binoculars, but still it's quite comfortable to hold them in a single hand. I assume these are made in Japan. I don't see this listed anywhere, but I'm pretty sure these are Japanese. Um, they come in a distinctive shape, thanks to the abeconic roof prisms inside. Perschler remains one of the most affordable binoculars with abeconic prisms on the market, along with Vixen, New Forest 8x56, Kite Optics Service 8x56, and GPO Passion HD 8x56. There may be some others which I forgot, but uh, not long ago these prisms were limited to binoculars priced 1000 euros and above since they're difficult to manufacture, but they provide a better light transmission rate when compared to standard Schmidt & Pecken roof prisms. These are available in two colors, black and green. Uh, this here is the green version and the price is the same for both, so 649 euros. The sides of the barrels are designed to provide a firm grip while observing also here, this dents for the fingers, so these are quite ergonomic. Um, the body is made of magnesium, adding to the durability and robustness. The eye cups are of high quality. They're made of metal and reinforced with rubber. There is no play when they're fixed in any of the positions. There are three positions altogether, so this one and then two more. I can set the eye relief perfectly for my uh, eyesight. The diopterring and the focusing knob are also made of metal, 
which further gives the impression of high quality. Now, as regards the central focusing wheel, uh, it takes a little bit more than one revolution to turn it, so it's uh, quite a fast focus. Um, it provides some resistance, and this also gives the user a better feeling. On top of that, the surface of the central focusing knob is designed to provide you with a firm grip as well. These are of course waterproof, fog proof, they're filled with dry, uh, dry nitrogen which prevents internal fogging at low temperatures. They can be used without problems even at temperatures as low as minus 10 degrees Celsius. If we talk a little bit about the Pöschler series, there are five other models here. We have the 8x45, 10x45, so quite an unusual objective lens diameter of 40 to 45 millimeters. Then we have this one 8x56 and three more 56 models, 10x56, 12x56 and 15x56. This model here is definitely the best for twilight use as it produces the biggest exit pupil of 7 millimeters. And now we come to the part that I'm sure um, you have been eagerly waiting for, and this is the optical characteristics. We tested this binoculars both during the day and in the late evening, and I have to say that we were all impressed by its performance. First of all, the resolution is great, so is the contrast. The edge-to-edge -edge sharpness is above average for this price class. There is no tint of any color. Uh, DD Optics use some excellent coatings on the glass. They call one of them DD Lucid Coating. And then also on the outer surface of the glass, a water and dust repellent coating is used, which is also really nice to have. The only real downside that we noticed is the presence of some internal reflections during daytime observations. But other than that, we really can't complain about these binoculars. They are priced at 649 euros and they truly deliver. And I have to point out that their performance is quite identical to the Kite Optics Service 8x56. Um, these two binoculars have comparable optical characteristics and they even have almost the same uh, price tag. This one offers an above average field of view of 129, Euro, uh, <laughs> 129 meters at 1000 meters. Uh, with above average, I'm of course referring to the low light type of binoculars. We know that certain full size and compact binoculars with an A times magnification offer a much wider field of view, even up to 159 meters at 1000 meters. You can already see uh, every accessory that comes in the box. So the box is here. It's quite basic, quite standard. But then Inside is this really nice bag, which I really like. Uh, first of all, I like the col color combination and the place for storing the binoculars inside here is big. It's padded to provide additional protection against damage. And then we have two additional pockets for some accessories. This is one here, then we have another one here. So I have to say that the bag is really nice. And then you also get this cool neoprene carrying strap for the back. Of course, you also get the carrying strap for the binoculars. You get the objective lens covers, which are already now fitted on the Pirschle. One, a one piece uh, eyepiece cover made out of rubber. An instruction manual, and of course the lens cloth, with the, which is really, really big. And that's basically it. So the warranty is also amazing with these binoculars. DD Optics provides 30 years of warranty on the optics and mechanics, which is really outstanding. And the price, as I already mentioned, is 649 euros for both the black and green model. Now that I've come to the end of this review almost, I'd like to point out the pros and cons once again. Uh, starting with the pros, 
as usual. I want to point out the great light transmission rate of these binoculars. Uh, we tested them out in a field and they perform better than some 200 and 300 euro more expensive binoculars. And we can definitely attribute this to the coatings and the abaconic prisms used. What I also like is the feel of binoculars. They're made of magnesium, everything, even the wheel and the eyepieces, which are they're rubberized, but they're um, made out of metal to provide some additional quality. Then we have the open bridge configuration, which allows for easy handling and also gives the binoculars a nice look, a unique look. And also all other optical properties, um, such as contrast and resolution and sharpness, are all above average for this price class. There are really not a lot of cons. The only one that I pointed out already are the internal reflections, but these are mostly noticeable during the day. Um, when you're observing in the dusk, you won't notice them, and as these binoculars are designed for use in dusk, it isn't really a problem. Other than this, I cannot think of any disadvantages in particular. So we have this classic standard um, connectors for the, for the strap and everything else I pretty much mentioned already. So if you wish to get yourself quality, affordable binoculars with a great light transmission rate for your hunting adventures in the dusk, we recommend you to get the DD Optics Perschler 8x56 Gen 3. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this review useful, leave a like, subscribe, take a look at our other videos on our YouTube channel, um, leave a comment if you have any, or um, just if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And see you next time. Take care.